Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing great. Um, I have made a series of videos about uh, different concepts of microservices um, in which I have tried to cover most important concepts related to microservices like introduction to microservices and also the advantage and disadvantages of having a monolithic architecture in your project, um, API gateway, inter microservice communications, uh, which involves a synchronous and synchronous way of uh, communication. It's, a, it's pros and cons. Um, service discovery, service registry, uh, circuit breaking, and a lot of um, examples involving um, e-commerce use cases. Um, so I hope these concepts will definitely help you to uh, understand microservices uh, in better. And also, I learned that um, in a lot of uh, system design interviews, they are focusing more about how you're going to build microservice architecture um, and a lot of questions are asked uh, around microservices so uh, I hope this vi these videos will definitely help you to uh, tackle um, system design interviews and also definitely it will help you to uh, develop your microservice um, components or microservice APIs uh, at your job as well. Um, uh, happy learning, thank you. What is microservices? Microservice is a software development technique or a architectural style in which application is basically structured as a group of individual loosely coupled services. So this is basically an application which is basically built using multiple small, um, you know, loosely coupled services. And they also are, you know, fine grained and they interact with each other using very lightweight protocol. Um, the protocol might be REST, uh, usually everyone prefer REST and it, as it is because it's very lightweight and HTTP and we have a lot of libraries available in all the different languages. So everyone usually prefers HTTP, but you can always use RPC, which is remote procedural call. Um, and and wh when you say it's lightweight, it's basically have a single purpose or it just does one thing. It doesn't do a lot of main things. Say for example, uh, let's take this application as an e-commerce application. In this case, the application will have many services. For example, uh, it might have search the product. It might have one services, uh, which is basically listing the product. And there is one more service, which is basically used to used for payment processing. And one service basically used for, you know, background, you know, shipping and all the different, uh, you know, packing, shipping process. And one more service basically might be used for payment or something else. This is uh, deployed separately and they are never dependent on the other services in the same application. But if it requires, they make a REST or uh, RPC call to the other services and get the information or update the information. And the important thing is they are deployed separately. Before moving forward, I just want to explain a little bit more about microservices for the sake of beginners. If you don't know what service really is, service you can think of as a group of APIs. It, you don't just think um, a service is an API. It could be one service is one API or it could be one service is you know, a group of multiple APIs. Say, for example, uh, this one, weather as service, in which if you pass a place name, you basically get all of the weather information related to that particular place. But weather as service might contain many other APIs. Say, for example, you pass place name, you get temperature or humidity, or there could be, you know, uh, many other attributes related to weather. So in all of these series of videos, I'm going to take one example that is e-commerce uh, as an example, and then I'm going to break down all the concepts related to microservices and explain how it is done and etc.